Hi, my name is Alessandro Angelos and that's a tip tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time I'd like to talk again about uh, the final render mesh distance uh, texture and we'll see how to work with this texture using the final render ocean and the ocean shader. So uh, let's prepare the ocean mesh. Okay, let's go at full screen and you see that's uh, we have I will see and we can remove the grid using the G key and you see that we have our uh, C simulation we can also have maybe a bigger a bigger wave uh, let's have a little bit okay that's our C and let's imagine that we have again uh, a mesh inside the water and we can use a simple teapot and the teapot is inside the water okay so you see the water is moving and we have no dynamic actually but it's not a problem we are talking just about the, the shader and the texture uh, let's set final render as rendering engine so let's go there assign render and final render and if we render actually you see that we have nothing so special and we have to start playing with a, a rendering engine and in the sky light we can use sky type physical sky and we'll have the sunlight and show sky environment so we have the sunlight source and we have the the sky in the environment map so we have the reflection over the the water let's see what happened and you see that now we have the illumination, the right illumination. Then we can pick the C mesh and inside the material editor we can create uh, a final render ocean material is one. Okay. And we can assign. Now if we try to render you see that we have the water and the quality is not bad, but we have no form for this material there. Uh, let's pick the. Uh, let's use maybe a color that can be useful and visible in the right way. Let's try with this one and two sided. And let's use more segments. Okay, let's render again. And that's our render actually. Okay, we like to have uh, an area around the teapot with the foam. So let's go there. I'm oh, sorry. And uh, let's say show some frame so we see our render frame. Okay, and we move there to see in the right way. So over there, we like to have the foam, and uh, we can go, we have the retrace. So we'll have a better quality. Okay. And then we like to have the foam, so we need the foam channel, and the foam will be. We can use. Let's close the standard, and we need the mesh distance. Okay, uh, use object list, and add the teapot. Let's see what happens. And you see that we have the black round and all the form at the distance because uh, we have to invert. So you see that now we have the right, the right area, and obviously the area is too big, so we have to make it more little. Let's try with ten in the far distance. So you see that we have just around, around there. Maybe we can use a little bit more for a distance. Okay, so you see the area is a little bit bigger. And uh, we can have also an higher exposure um, value there to have, you see, a more visible uh, area with less fall off. Let's close there, and now we like to have a map to control the foam. Now we have just a mask. So we have to use this one as mask, so uh, it means that we 
have a mask there so let's use mask and keep all that mask and this one must be swooped there so we have the mesh distance as mask but we can remove it actually and we have for example a noise we'll try to do uh, a shader a really simple mask form we don't need so uh, complex tabs okay you see that we have the the noise all around and the scale is big so let's try with six and let's try with turbulence and now you see that we have an higher value there so we can try with for example let's try with 10 and 6 and we'll try to have more white area okay and this one can be something around a white gray Okay, let's see what happens if we have the mesh distance mask. And you see that we have this map just there. Okay, let's go back there. And we can have, for example, in the white area, we can have a cellular map and the scale will be big so let's try with one let's render just this area to be faster so you see that we have the point over there and we can have the same there as a copy but we need it uh, less black so something like that and let's say that we have a little bit bigger area so let's try with two and it will be less visible okay it's not bad I think and I like just to have uh, a more distorted area there so uh, we have to mask uh, this noise as you see so we should for example um, have a mask and uh, we can for example work directly there on the mask and uh, so we can for example go there inside the mesh distance and we can use an input map uh, let's remove for the moment the map and there we can use a noise and let's go maybe for a turbulence and let's go for a swoop and let's see with a low scale what we have let's try with six Okay, so you see that we have a mask and I like to have a more visible mask so let's change the value there and you see that we have some area where we uh, don't have let's try with a, an higher scale maybe 15 so we have area where we don't have the form a little bit more levels so you see it's a little bit more complex and then we can think to have gain the noise and you see that we have the form just in some area obviously you can treat uh, the the presents as you like so you see that we can have this map in any way so it's not a problem you can do as you like and uh, it was just a, a really simple uh, way to prepare the form so um, I think that for the moment that's all 
and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.